Emotional Marketing on Your Business Blog Did you remember the last time you have personally used emotional marketing? I surely think you did. When you were still small, you probably resorted to tantrums, yelling or crying to get what you want. Sometimes, your parents would give in to your wishes, but in most cases, they really won't tolerate that kind of behavior as a form of discipline. As you grow older, you have learned better that there are emotions that sell and don't sell. You now learn other ways to communicate to get them to decide on your favor and to get other people to agree with your ideas. Emotional marketing may be an old technique, but it certainly works well like subtle flirting. Not sure if this is a good comparison, though, but read on to get better ideas about marketing using emotions. When marketing using emotions, we would usually find out or identify ahead what kind of emotion could potentially work well when we try to sell something to other people, be they ideas, product, or service. In other words, you usually start by testing the waters. Just as children learn better that tantrums will not get them anywhere, Businesses also learn better when they would observe the changing trends in buyer or customer behavior, therefore, proper timing is really important in selling. You need to market to people when they are emotionally ready to buy your product. It is your job to get them primed up to buy from you. This is why it is very important to implement emotional marketing on your business blog. You need to be able to tap into people's emotions and their innermost thoughts to give you more ideas in presenting and marketing your products effectively to them. Learn just what it takes to successfully market your products using emotions.